Is this the most outrageous garage gym of all time? Possibly. Is my wife really pissed at me? Definitely. This is Coop's Garage Gym Tour. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews and today I'm doing something that we've been asked to do quite a bit, but I've kind of put it off. It, the gym's been dirty, it, it has been right timing, but I'm sad to say this garage gym, this house is going away. This is a very sad time for me, it's, or it's bittersweet because we're moving somewhere cool, bigger, awesomer, but I'm saying goodbye to this place where I've had a lot of memories. I grew up here, we bought it from my parents. My dad's garage gym was in there, right in there. I remember he had custom welded equipment and I think I've done him one better. But today we're gonna show you the garage gym, walk through it all and kind of show you my favorite pieces. This is probably gonna be long, so if you don't wanna buckle up and get out now, but make sure you smash that like button before you go. That's the first time I said, does that sound weird? Smash that like button? Yeah, I used to say that in like the early days of the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a dad now. Okay, let's start over here. This is the Coop Squat. That's a fictitious title. There's nowhere online where you type in Coop Squat. Well, it may pull up, but this isn't something you can buy off the shelf. This is something fully custom. I do know that if you want one of these, you can send Rogue an email, team, I think, at roguefitness.com, and they'll send you a parts list for it. We've had a lot of people do it. But the Coop Squat is basically my Frankenstein rack. We've done a review video on it. This is by far my favorite piece of equipment in the gym. If I could have one piece of equipment outside of a barbell and weights, this would be it. If I could recommend one squat rack to most home gym owners, this bad boy would be it. This thing is extra special, extra expensive, extra over the top, and it just does everything you'd want it to. So just to give you a brief idea for those of you that are new to the channel or new to the, this gym, basically what I did was I took four uprights from a Titan Titan series, self-titled Titan series rack. I then bolted them together with cross members from Rogue Monster Racks, all three by three, all 11 gauge, all one inch holes and hardware. I then took a Rogue Rhino, Monster Rhino, slapped that bad boy in the middle. I took the horn, I put it on the back end. I threw some front feet on the front. I added lever arms, adjustable LT1 50 cal trolley lever arms. I added Sorenex rollers. I added a multi-grip pull-up bar. I added a Rogue Slinger. I added <laughs> Prime Fitness pull-up handles. You name it, this bad boy has got it. Now you're probably thinking some of this is excessive. All of it is excessive, yes. It is excessive. No, I don't use every function of the rack. These are really kind of just here for looks, but everything else is actually pretty practical. I can do lat pull downs, I can do low rows, I can squat outside, I can squat inside, I can bench outside, I can do weighted pull ups. I had my buddy Dean at Black Widow training gear add dip handles so I could do weighted dips with the custom 8 bit barbell logo on the spider web. That's special. I had that done because I just had to have it done. And this is the coop squat. So, yes, this is over the top. However, for those of you that would like something like this, a lot of this stuff you don't need, like these lever arms, that pull-up handle, those sorts of things, but most of the, the creation you could buy for maybe around three grand or so, um, and I would definitely suggest it. If you got the cake and you want something, if I had one rack, okay, I'm being completely honest, if I could only have one rack in my garage, this would be it. it just works. All right, moving on. I, I could talk about that all day. I love that thing, but let's come over to here to this corner. I want to show you every part of the gym. Uh, this is just a couple bars. This is the safety squat bar from Bells of Steel. This is a good bar. Um, it feels very similar to the Titan safety squat bar. In fact, it was made after that, except it uses Olympic sleeves, milled Olympic sleeves. It's a little more expensive. And this particular one, the camber is slightly off. I'm not sure if they fixed that, but it's a good option. The Cadillac bar from Kabuki Strength, my favorite multi-grip bar. That thing's just sweet, um, works really well. And then every garage gym, listen, 
If you're a garage gym owner and you don't have one of these big swinging things, you need to get one, okay? This is a brushless greenware. Actually, this one particular, I could care less which one you get, but you need one of these bad boys. I'd shoot it off right now, but I'm obviously missing a battery, so I'll just have to pretend. You get the idea, but this bad boy's you got it. If you got a garage gym or you just started, you may not be aware of this. This is a pro tip from Dad Coop. You need a leaf blower because you don't want to be in there vacuuming. You don't want to be in there sweeping. No, you want to be blowing. <laughs> you want to be blowing, okay? And you want to be leaf blowing. You need one of these. This is, you got to get one of these. It's like 50 bucks. This is almost essential to a garage gym. All right. Then I've got some other stuff over there. We've got some handles here. Um, this is the, the uh, Back Widow, pretty cool handle, very expensive, but cool. Different J cups, all that sort of stuff. And then this monster, this is literally a monster. This is five inches by three inches, seven gauge steel. This thing weighs like 1800 pounds. It's just, it's just over the top in every way, which is exactly why I like it. So it's got these adjustable J cups. We did a video on this, but adjustable J cups that go up and down. You then, if you want to change the pieces out, you just pull this little lever up here, pull that out, put it in. It just works. Same thing with the straps. You can pull the straps out, put them in. I mean, the uniqueness of the rack is twofold. It's one that it's just stupid heavy. I mean, getting this thing in was, it just wasn't fun. Even for a guy that deadlifts at least 2,000 pounds, but I was still able to, it was still hard. Then also this functionality here. So this functionality, where you go up and down, that is very unique. You can see there's no holes or anything except on the back. It's just a cool idea that works really well. It's seamless, however, it's really expensive. But as you can see, we got the Garage Gym Reviews logo down the side. Um, I think this is over the top for most people, but if you want Arsenal Strength, which is who this is made by, it's a cool rack, it gets a lot done. The plates of choice that I have in here right now are the Klokov plates. I get asked all the time, why do you use the Klokov plates? You have all these other plates. These have this rounded edge that I just like. It reminds me of the old Yusaka Atlanta plates. Really unique plates. They didn't sell, I mean, I don't know if they sold them ever. I think they may have just had them for the Olympics. But they are my favorite plate ever made. They're the best looking, I just love them. And these are kind of like a play off of those. They don't look as good, but they're close. They're not the greatest plates ever made. I just like the look. Then inside, we've got a fully stainless steel, both bar and sleeves, curl bar from Rep Fitness. Why you need that, you don't, but I got it. Texas All-American bar, similar to Texas Power Bar, except it's got a more passive neural. And then the Titan Bison bar, which we did a video on and it almost killed my videographer, Lynn. You may remember, fell on. But Got those bars in there. I don't use this one, by the way. This is kind of just here for looks because it is kind of dangerous. Then in the middle, we have, in my opinion, the best value adjustable bench that's out there, the Rep AB5200. This bench has a ladder style system. It's imported, but it's priced extremely well. It's made really well. If I was gonna recommend one adjustable bench to most people, which I have, you can check it at the link in the bio. This is the one I would recommend, the Rep AB5200. It just works, man, and that's what some of this stuff is. Back here, the Rogue Arnold plates. That was a pretty cool video. Honestly, that was probably one of my favorite videos we did. Like, it didn't necessarily get the most traction. It got good traction, but there's just, I don't know, there's something special about those things. I'm working on a design with a company for a table uh, where I'm gonna put those in. That'll be pretty cool, so maybe we'll have that done by the next place, so. Then, we have the barbells, duh, duh, duh. just kidding. You're not gonna see those yet. We'll do that later. Then we'll come into here. We don't shoot, man, did you hear the echo just go away? Wow, this is incredible. I should have put the gym in here. So Maybe next time. Uh, it's one car garage. But <laughs> this um, is kind of a storage area for stuff. This is stuff that I either wheel out or it's just like waiting to be used or reviewed or something like that. Um, this is a one car garage. There used to be a full wall there and I removed a doorway passage, but I basically just have all sorts of cross members and pull up bars and squat racks and uprights and J cups. I mean, you name it, benches, like 
it's like sitting on this gladiator rack. I've got two of these. I've got another one out in the storage shed. So people ask like, what do you do with all your extra stuff? I either put it in my gym, I put it in here, I put it at friends' houses, or it's like in one of these, you know, storage areas. So tons of crap. Uh, Echelon bike, which is like a cheaper budget friendly Peloton. It's okay. Peloton bike sucks anyways. So that one's equally not as good but it's priced really well. Rogue Echo Bike, in my opinion, the best air bike for most people. If you got a garage gym and you want something that's gonna suck, this is probably your first purchase for a cardio piece. It just works really well. And then these bad boys, which I had customized to my colors, these are Barrett Jackson Edition Pro Slat cabinets. As you can see, they're just full of stuff. Some of them are. There we go. There's some tripods and all sorts of goodies in there, bike helmets. There's not any really gym equipment in here. The new place, this is gonna go in one of the new garage bays, but they look cool, right? They match the aesthetic. Barrett Jackson is my homeboy. And uh, he's actually not, I've never met him. But then it's got the nice stainless steel top. It's got the overhead lighting. Oh! <laughs> These are over the top too. And then it's got the slat stainless steel back and everything. And then you, you, know, you gotta have a power block stand on top of the table. Okay, over here, we have a rack in process. A lot of times what'll happen is I'll get boxes in, they'll sit here till I review them. I probably need a little bit more organization, but right here, this is a rep PR 1100, which is going to my videographer, Lynn, which we will review soon enough. Um, but yeah, it's a good budget friendly rack. Over here, I've got stall bars that were actually at the old gym. Um, I'm gonna put them in at the new place. These are metal stall bars. They weigh a ton, uh, but I like them, they're cool. And then some bikes here. Um, also a ski erg, ski rower. So it's a part ski erg, part rower from Energy Fit all in one. We have a review on that coming very shortly, very shortly. Um, and then my e-bike, yeah. I've got an e-bike. That's what I ride around a lot of times. All right, so back to the normal gym. All right, so, man, yeah, that echo just increased greatly. So these are customized power blocks. We also have a video in progress with these. These are, these go up to 90 pounds. These ones are commercial, but here's what's special about them, okay? Come in close. These are Garage Gym Reviews Edition with, hold your breath, Knurled handles. Ah, that's right, knurled handles on power blocks. How many times have you seen those? Very few, but now you've seen them. And not just one, not just two, but four different handles. That way, these ones weigh 10 pounds, these ones weigh five pounds. So, you know, if you wanna go from five pound increments or 10 pound increments, you can do it just like that. The, I mean, I love it. I love these. I like power blocks. Some people like Iron Masters better. I like power blocks. They're easy to change. They work really well. Yeah, they're like an unconventional like shape, but they work really well. I've never had a problem with them, and I especially like that they now have knurled handles. They're on this stand here that I've got change plates on this pull up on this rack that pulls out here, and I've got just other random bands and fat grips and yeah, you name it. It's just like random stuff. By the way, these are actually kind of cool. These are called engage grips and they're a fat grip that turns the bar from like a straight bar into like kind of an easy curl bar. I got to show you these real quick. They go on like so. So now, as you can see, your hands like angled in or angled out. I haven't shown these yet. I need, I should, I should show these. These are pretty cool, but I love the idea. Um, I don't know how much traction they're getting, but it's a cool idea to turn a straight bar for guys with home gyms that don't want to spend money on an easy curl bar. Get these, great idea. Okay, then this is the True Form treadmill. Watch, I can run backwards. Whew. With custom color red and black turf. Um, it's no secret that I think True Form is making the best treadmills that are out there. They're the most durable, strongest, longest lasting. That doesn't mean they're the most budget friendly. If you're on a budget, you shouldn't buy a true form. They're expensive, although they have their trainer, but I don't know if the trainer is as good. I don't think the trainer is as good as the Assault Runner. They're close, um, but this one, if you want the best, this is the one, it's great. 
Here we've got the Ghost Combo Rack, customized to Garage Gym Reviews. All this, most of the stuff we've done reviews on, but I still like to talk about it. Basically the Combo Rack allows you to adjust it incrementally between people. So if I wanted to come up here and then I pop this pin in here, boom. Okay, then I can use a different squatter or a different size person. Then if I wanted to go down again, I come down like that. This is, Ghost is by far making the most over the top equipment. I, I like to think of them as a Ferrari or some sort of custom chop shop for gym equipment. Their stuff is primo. That doesn't mean it's perfect. There are things I'd change about this, but I mean, when people come in the gym, this is one of the things that people flock to because just like, what the freak is that? Really cool. This back here is one that we recently did a review on. It's from the Strength Co, which actually this shirt's from the Strength Co. I'm sweating, but this shirt's from the Strength Co. Um, this is all made in the USA. This was a gym in California that was shut down due to COVID and they decided, hey, we gotta keep making money somehow. We gotta keep our people training. How about we just make some gym equipment? So they started making racks and now they're making plates and all this sort of stuff. And this was their initial rack. I mean, I th like, is this the best rack of all time? By no means, but their ingenuity and like just get it done attitude, regardless of the situation, I absolutely applaud. I think that's freaking awesome. So yeah, it's a decent rack, but it's made in the USA. I know they're trying to scale and like do other pieces of equipment. Um, I don't love this rack, but I love the idea and I'm excited to see what they come out with. So I'm, I'm for those guys, definitely. Here, this is a lat pull down from Titan. This isn't just, you know, some of this stuff I recommend and it's like, I'm not always using it because I don't have a use case for it or I've already got something that's different. This is something I like so much. I have it in my garage gym. This is the Titan lat pull down. I had one in my garage gym. I've got one at the old gym. Um, there's just tons of them, okay? They're just great. They work really well. A 300 pound stack, super heavy, 11 gauge steel. I mean, I don't know if you can get my barn door back in the camera when I do this, but it just works so smooth for a thousand bucks shipped to your doorstep. Selectorized weight stacks, 300 pound lat pull down. You can't find anything else out there that's like it. I can't believe, like, if I, they should have sold that for like 1,500, two grand. They probably would have had just as many sales because it's just that good for the price. And it's got low row. It's amazing, okay? Over here, we've got a dumbbell set from, well, I've got people borrowing dumbbells right now, but basically it's supposed to go from five pounds up to 100 pounds. These are rep fitness. As you can see, they're kind of like greening a little bit. I've heard people complain about that too. And yes, mine are doing that as well. It's the rubber that's being used. You may be able to clean it off, but I'm not that worried about it because they work like normal. Um, there they are. Down below, we've got some kettlebells up to 202 pounds. I mean, look at that bad boy. That thing's huge. That's what she said. But just a big kettlebell, right? Over here, this is a Made in America. Made in America from Rogue kettlebell. They never make these things in America. They've started to, but I don't know. This is like one of the first ones off the line. Um, pretty cool. All right, I can't talk about everything. We'll be here all day. Uh, American flag, some maces, functional trainer from Frey Fitness. We did a review on that. Then CMBs, this thing is holding a lot of weight. It's not secured to the wall, so yeah, there could be danger with it falling, but I'm hoping it doesn't. I tried to put a lot of weight on the bottom, so competition kettlebells from Kettlebell Kings, cast iron kettlebells from Kettlebell Kings, sore neck CMBs, ooh, that felt kind of good, from five pounds up to 100 pounds in 10 pound increments. You're thinking these look like plotter or potter plants or something like that. No, these are basically dumbbells that you put your hand in, um, yeah. I prefer them to fat bells from Rogue Thompson for those interested. The reason is because these are ductile iron. They have handles on both sides. That said, if I was going to recommend some, I'd probably recommend fat bells because they're cheaper. So that's just kind of my take on that situation. Um, yeah, some other kettlebells, plates, fringe sport, and Rogues. Um, some extra barbells that are just, that's an Aleco Rogue collaboration barbell. You guys have never seen one of those. And there's a custom garage gym reviews barbell there too. And then let's go to the last, the final. My favorite 
the barbell section. So I've got most of the barbells at the gym right now because um, we're also moving, obviously. Uh, but this is kind of my barbell selection in the garage. Uh, some of these we're reviewing right now, so that's why they're in here. Some of these are ones that I just use personally a lot. Uh, this is a football bar that you've probably never seen or heard of. Uh, this is from, man, who makes this bar? Uh, Lynn, who makes this bar? Football bar? Yeah. I have no idea. This is, oh, I forget who makes this bar. Let me just say this. You don't know the company because they don't do a lot of marketing. They're based out of Vegas. Uh, their website looks like it was made in like 1996 on dial-up. It still looks like that. It's got this yellow background. Um, it's a football bar. It works really well. It's very similar to the T-Grip bar from uh, American Barbell, but this was one of the first ones. It's a great bar. Works really well. Uh, not as good as the Kabuki Cadillac bar. Then we got the Duffalo bar, the ever so great Duffalo bar. I really like that bar. Uh, Mars bar, which is a sweet safety squat bar. I really like this bar. It's just hard to recommend at the price point, um, but it's just really well done. I like squatting with it. Then the Gung, I don't know if I can say this right, the Gungner bar. This is a little like close up for you guys because we haven't released the review for this yet. Oh, yeah. This is one of the first ones in the US and it is coming out, but this bad boy. Ooh, do you hear that? Yeah, that'll probably be a review that we do next. Um, but it's a collar built into the sleeve. And I'll talk about this more, but a lot of people are saying like, that thing's gonna break, how is that gonna last? Listen, it's such a simple mechanism that even if this part breaks, you take it off and you put a new one on, which I don't really foresee it breaking. That's cast aluminum. It should be fine. <laughs> that said, this is an $800 bar. That's hard to get behind. That's, that's, that's a lot. Okay, then a, a Rep Fitness Excalibur, Aleco training bar. Man, look at that Aleco. That's just... That's money in the bank, shoddy what you think right there. That bearing bar, it's just, there's just something about an Aleco. You know, you're like, what makes an Aleco better than other bars? It's just got the, mmm. Kabuki Strength, New Gen Power Bar. Another, just, if I was gonna have a power bar, this would probably be the joint. This thing is a beast. The knurling is just incredible. It's just a good bar. Um, Vulcan Basic Bar, it's a good bar. Um, then this one, let's just see if I can tell without doing Is this an American barbell training bar? There you go. This is a Lu Zhao Jun um, bar. This is very similar to the Klokov bar. It's a new one that came out, but it's an Olympic bar. Um, it's got decent neural, bright zinc, spins really well. Yeah, I mean, it, it works. It's an imported bar. I think they're trying to live off the name of Lu Zhao Jun. Um, but it's got a signature right here. Pretty cool. Elite FTS SS Yoke Bar, Aleco op Open Deadlift Bar. The first version, the new version has extra supports here. I haven't had a reason. To, it's not broken yet, so <laughs> I hope it doesn't because that's a thousand dollar bar. And then um, the Bells of Steel Trap Bar 2.0 and a sled from Expo Trainer. So that's the gym. I. Are you guys as sad as I am? You gotta be. You gotta be as sad as I am. I mean, this bittersweet, it's like, ah. It's just, I'm gonna miss this place. But we've got a lot of good memories. It's all on video. And we gotta move on to bigger, better things. This is Coop from Garage and Reviews. We'll see you at the new place. Peace.